Get supple and relaxed instead of being t tense. So letting them have let's let them explore again, and then I'll go back to some more some more hindquarter work. I like to think there's a headlight on my chest. Oh yeah, just like on the ground. Remember? Now I still use the rein on a horse like this. I'm riding in a halter. It, my hands will be more exaggerated sometimes. It's not like finishing. Uh, it's not like we're in a uh, you know neck reining or something. So. Just realize that. What if you work a horse on the ground in a snaffle? Well, that'd be fine. I do that it's in hand work. And so if I do some in hand work, well then maybe I would have rode him with a snaffle bit today. But this is the way it worked out for me. There. I feel like he could look to the left a little longer. Come on, buddy. Could he step that? Hindquarters over a little more. Okay, let's not be too greedy. It's looking all right. Ooh, he's got a really nice walk when he relaxes and gets stretchy. That's going to be, he's going to be fun. He's going to be a fun horse to ride. Looking good. He's probably going to want to go to the, I was just going to say he's going to go to the left, but I straightened him out. See, he's looking to the left. Letting him explore. If he trots, I trot. If he canter, if he canters, I canter. He needs to just find confidence in me. Relax. I'm sitting slouchy. Not jumping or anything. I'm not galloping. I don't need to have a. I, I can have a soft tone in my body. His back feels good when he's walking. It's when I pick up the rein and I start to bend, that he gets a little tight. See that? Nope. Forward motion. He says, I, I, he's going, that's a, sort of, they'll regress, they'll go back to sort of what I call spontaneous recovery. He might go back to when he was excited before. Maybe he stopped his feet. Oh yeah, that's right. What did he do on the ground when we started? He stopped his feet. So he's regressing or sort of uh, almost like a reflex type spontaneous recovery action. He's like, stop my feet. Nope, nope. I'm going to say, hey, buddy, pay attention to me. Listen to me. Don't go into your old state of mind. Come to me, buddy. I'm going to help you get through it. We're going to get your hindquarters working right. One day... Yeah, that's that'll work for me. Just walk off, and I don't want him to go, just pull me to the right. So I'm going to walk off to the left. So notice I was using my left rein, left leg, lateral aiding one side of my body. Got it. So then I don't want to change direction right away. I want to keep that circle going to the left. Kind of play around with my hand positions on the reins, and then at some point if I feel like yes, he's like right here. He's thinking left. Okay, now go. Let's change direction. Go straight or go right. I'll show you again. Just a, just a little bit here. Going to move his head. Ah, going to use a right bend, right rein. I'm going to use a right leg. I'm just going to spiral into just getting that hindquarters to cross under a little bit. Can you get a little more? This is very primitive in a rope halter at first. So um, I'm not going to get a perfect turn on the forehand. I don't really need that. I need him to cross the hind legs. And then after that happens, he's already bending right. So then let's bring our hand kind of out, slightly leading him through onto the circle. So now it's not the hindquarters anymore. It's more like a little circle. Now he's really looking to the right here. Ah, good. He's thinking right bend. So then I have no problem straightening out and going to the left. But if he is pulling on me, if he's pulling to the outside, get him thinking about the inside with your inside leg and reins. Like the jump is here on my left. Wiggle my left rein and my left leg a little bit. Let's well, see, he's looking to the right. So that's interesting. There it is, getting him to look into the left. I'm riding him very simplistic. That's what he needs, or at least that's what I need. I don't know. Simple can be really good. Getting them to look to the right. I like I like the right bend. I like the right bend. Let's try a left bend. I visualize what I want to have happen before I do it. We go forward, and I'm going to turn left, come through, 
the jump standards. It's just a little doorway. Get him to look to the left. I like it. I'd like to come down the rail and come back towards you and, yeah. He saw a car way out there through the window, actually, outside, saw a car and thought that was quite interesting. So he's the type of horse, obviously, that notices lots of things. So if we're galloping out in a field, he, he might not be thinking about his feet all the time. He might be thinking about what's in front of him and what's the danger, what, what's going to hurt him. He might be worried about that. So here we go again. I need more left bend. Look at, need that left ear to come around. He wants to go to the right, but he needs to draw the mind to the left. The left. And I'm just kind of concentrating on him a little bit. Looking for that there. Looking for that left ear and the there and the hindquarters just to kind of break over a little more. There, that'll work. Leave him alone. Yeah, I'm asking a lot, aren't I? And the reason is he needs to look left and think left. That, that'll work. He sucks back. I say, you go forward. Take that hindquarters. Forehand through the turn more. My hand's exaggerated. Kind of coming out to the left. Pointing, almost pointing. Come through the turn. When I feel like he's solid on left bend, then what we'll do, we shall go straight and change direction. See that? But I don't want to let him, was, if he's thinking about bending, you know, counter bending and pulling, I don't want to let him go there. I want him to find where, I, look where I'm looking. Feel for the human, be mindful of me. Where am I looking? Where's my chest pointing? Where are my eyes looking? A horse can tune into that. To the right, trying to get smooth. What I love about this horse, once he's walking and for, uh, moving, he's pretty nice and forward. He's, he, he actually does sort of turn loose pretty well uh, at the walk. I mean, I realize there's a lot. He's kind of yielding off well. I don't know that I could go outside, go gallop. Well, maybe he would turn loose. Maybe that's just what he needs. <laughs> that's later. It's a little wet today. This is feeling all right to me. I'm going to think about the mounting block and put my thoughts to the mounting block and my attention to the mounting block. And, of course, it's that left side. So maybe he looks at it and he goes, hmm, hmm. And then I'm going to say, can you, no, no, don't pull on me that way. Think about that mounting block here. He'll run it over. I don't know that I want that either. See, huh, maybe he will run it over. I guess the problem is you, when you think about something with the horse, it usually happens. <laughs> Imagine riding up to a jump, saying to yourself, I think he's going to refuse. I think he's going to stop. I think he's going to stop. And he looks at the base of the jump. Where are your legs, pal? Got me a little nervous there for a bit. There's the mounting block. I don't get too nervous. Just kind of wondered where his back half went. little pressure situation. He's going to find it. He doesn't know what I want. I want him just to stop and halt by the mounting block. He doesn't understand that. I'm going to reinforce my aids. Uh, my, I have reinforced my, my idea. All right. And then he says, well, while I'm over there, I might scratch my nose on it. Almost done. We'll walk off a little bit. Let him have a thought and think. And, you know, and maybe he goes... Uh, that mounting block thing, this isn't so bad. Maybe I want to go over there. It's a halt zone, sort of. Oh, yeah. Now, his neck muscles, they're tighter than you think. If you touch him, if you touch his neck, you go, whoa, he's quite tense. And so he's really not... Um, is relaxed as he will be one day. I don't mind though, right now, with where we're at. It's going to kind of help him find that block. That'll work. <laughs> I like a lively horse. I know I mentioned that it's a few times, but almost there, guy. Now, he doesn't know this yet, but he will one day. That if you park me. By that block, I'll get off your back. Now, 
it's a pretty good place to be. Right now, he, he's so busy keeping, uh, not keeping his mind on the mounting block, and he, he, he keeps his mind, he looks around, and uh, there's that hindquarters kind of moving around, uh, hind legs moving around a little bit. So his attention, you need to direct his attention. You're restraining me, Jack. You're keeping me in, in one place here, and he'd like to go move a little. Good boy. Every time I move his hind like this, it's it's a bonus. Good. Kind of clapped his side, actually. more Not to pet, but just to say, give me your attention. There it is. Come on. Think about me. For, forget about all that other stuff. Try that. It's a step in the right direction. Or left direction. Come on, buddy. It'll make a boring video if you don't give me the here the mounting block. Good. He's so close and then he can't hand, he can't quite he goes, I don't want to keep it there on my side. <laughs> I don't want to skeptical a little bit. Good. Yeah, it's that thing. It's that mounting block thing, buddy. That that thing's important. I will take what I can get there because I don't want to work on it much longer. Um, his attention, yeah, it's better. It still wants to go. He's off to the side and other places. He's Again, that's just sort of the way he is. But I think he's sort of figuring out like, hey, this guy's not so bad. I mean, that wasn't so hard, was it? You know, and he says, well, that's real. that stuff's real weird and snorty. Oh, kick up your hind legs, you know, that's sort of the... Good. My intent is to have him stand while I rope. His owner didn't know that will make him a roping horse. She's probably thinking, I just want to jump stuff and do dressage. I say, this is dressage. It's training. Good. Well, guys, you got to kind of see... What I do working with a younger horse or a thoroughbred, younger thoroughbred, you know, I probably wouldn't vary that much if I were doing a, uh, a horse that had never been ridden. I mean, you might see something similar to that. Uh, it's all pretty down-to-earth common sense, and there's a correlation between my groundwork and my riding, and that's something for you to think about. If you are working on the ground... Think to yourself, <laughs> good boy. <laughs> he goes, that is a tough one. Think to yourself, is, is, is what, what you're doing on the ground, is it going to correlate? Is it going to mesh up when you're in, on his back? And that's what I think about with groundwork. Well, anyway, let's see if I can get his attention. He looks away. I might just start moving that rope more. He's not, he's, not, he's not okay with this, but he's, not, he's doing fine. He's doing good for the type of horse he is. Across the front. Good. It's going to hit him more on the, the ribs. Good. Humans do weird things, buddy. You, just, you have to understand that ev not everything is threatening. There's a change there. I hope you enjoyed that. I really liked working with this horse. I thought he was pretty nice um, to work with. His attention can can get better. It will. But if you have any questions, um, you can get a hold of us. You might have to write in the comments below if it's a video on YouTube or something. Like, subscribe, share. Tell your friends because we want to try to help snorty horses and snorty people that are nervous with horses. So I hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you again.